My early symptoms were muscle weakness and I started tripping more, then I started falling. I started noticing more weakness, breathing and chewing and swallowing, facial weakness. I was told by the first neurologist that he did not think I had anything and told me that it was in my head. I asked my primary doctor to send me to a new neurologist who told me he thinks that I had MS. And I just kept going to more neurologists after that. And they said the same thing that I had ALS. And finally, I was sent to my current neurologist and he informed me that's exactly what I had was myasthenia gravis. It took three primary care physicians, seven neurologists, almost six years, and eight misdiagnoses to diagnose my myasthenia gravis. I decided to go on social security disability, and that took me almost five years because not only did their medical doctors not believe me, but the judges and even my lawyers did not believe that I had myasthenia gravis. I wish people knew that we may not physically be able to do the stuff that we used to do. We aren't the disease. We're still Brian or any other patient that has myasthenia gravis. We still have heart. We still have hope. We still have dreams and goals that we want to accomplish. There were two people in my life that really stuck through it with me. And the one who was always there was my mom. And my other half, Ryan, he, at the beginning, didn't believe what was going on. He finally realized that something was seriously wrong with me. We've always been a team. They know what to look for. They know what to do in case of emergency. They know everything that needs to happen in order to take care of me. And they have always been there from that point on, and they're always going to be there.